Hi guys, good to have you all back. I hope you all had a magical Christmas. Maybe some of you guys are still enjoying some free time. That's what me and my husband are doing. Uh, every year between Christmas and New Year's, uh, we take some time off to spend it together and do some just, you know, fun things. Um, but I really wanted to come on here today to say hi and check in how y'all doing and do a small little project. Um, let me tell you uh, what I have in mind. I have lots of stuff on my desk, but this is the inspiration for the project that we're doing today. I went on a shopping trip yesterday with my husband and then I found these fantastic napkins. I'm sorry for the glare, guys. They were on sale and they are beautiful. Uh, these two. Yes, and then these are sort of handkerchief, paper handkerchief with, this is Mozart actually. Yes, so cute. Let me take one out just to show you. Uh, what I want to do today is some decoupaging. These are lovely. Um, there are three images on here, but they're in total six images. See, because these are different than these ones. Love them, right? And then all the pretty roses. Let me see. And they're sort of, um, I don't know, wintry. Winter roses. Let's just call it winter roses. Why not? So yeah, I want to do some decoupaging um, on stuff and make some uh, tags or journal cards or I don't really know. I just want to do some decoupaging. Um, disclaimer, I am not really good at decoupaging. That's because I just don't do it often enough. And um, over the past few years, I've been trying to do it with different sorts of glue. And I think I have the perfect glue now. I think, because I haven't tried it, but I think this will be fantastic. Okay, guys, let me show you what we're using and uh, and then let's get started. Well, of course, we're using napkins. Could be any sort of design that you want. I happen to really love this one. It's like, put it on a tack and you're done. I do want to sort of alter it a little bit. So napkins, um, I'm going to use multimedia mat from Ranger from Mr. Tim Holtz. Now, if you don't have this, you can use any, you can even use glue stick if you want lovies. No worries at all. Um, I also used to use Mod Podge. Mm, not really big fan of Mod Podge, but you can also use, let's see if I have any sort of, if you have any sort of uh, tacky glue, just, uh, you know, the normal white, I, I believe they call that PVA glue, I don't know, it's not a word that we use in the Netherlands, or even the textile glue. What I do with these is mix these with water in a small bowl. Uh, do I have a small bowl? Yes, normally I take, I have this small, small bowl. I use this for gluing. Just put like uh, glue in and add water, stir. <laughs> it's like instant Mod Podge for you. So um, I, you can do it with glue stick. I'm not going to try that one out. You can use it with tacky glue or any white PVA glue with water mixed and then you have sort of the same consistency as this one. Not really because I, I must admit this is really good. Uh, I have not decoupaged with this one yet so I have no clue if it will work. So if you're not glue using glue stick but um, liquid glue, I'm using a brush. Yeah, I believe you can also do it with like a sponge brush thingy. Uh, do I have that somewhere? I used to have. Oh yes. Like these thingies. Never used it. Never used it. I'm not gonna today either. Yeah, uh, so um, that's the basic things you need. A, a surface to put something on. All sorts of papers I have here. Glue and napkins. Now, I want to decorate it with... I bought these. These are like sort of glittery dots. They're a little bit raised, or like sort of diamond shape on them. Uh, and I thought they would be very cool for winter. It just reminds me of winter. I'm going to use um, hole reinforcers for on the tags. A hole punch uh, to make uh, a hole on the tag. I'm going to do some inking. I'm going to make a topper with sari silk. Well, this is not real sari silk. This is faux sari silk. This is something I make myself from lining fabrics yeah that you have on the inside of your skirt or your jacket or whatever lining fabric uh, i finally figured out how to use this pen <laughs> this water brush uh, i couldn't get it open but you have to uh, twist it counterclockwise didn't know it i almost murdered it 
but that's okay um glue uh scissors i'm gonna use some bits and bobs you name it so um i'm don't, gonna do some stamping as well i'm gonna do some distressing and some stamping on here just to decorate just to decorate uh let's just get started this napkin has all napkins have like four sort of com compartments right and this napkin had two different designs so two of each and this one just repeated it all four times so i just have one panel of this i cut this like in a panel with all the layers still intact because that's a much easier way to cut them now <clears throat> what i'm going to do guys i am going to do i'm going to use this but i'm also going to use my scissors so i want to cut these up into three pieces right i am gently going to do this and this is before we separate all the layers now if you have never have uh, have decoupage um napkins it's fun it's a fun thing to do it's a little bit messy but that's okay <clears throat> uh a napkin consists of two, three, and sometimes even four layers. I have never met a napkin that had four layers. I'm going to remove this piece of white as well over here. Now, there are a couple of different ways um, to remove layers from one another. Yeah, you could sort of start peeling. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Uh, what I do is take a piece of tape. Yeah, I'm just going to put it on the napkin somewhere anywhere and i'm gently going to rip it this will remove one layer see there's one layer already removed well it's <laughs> removed now then there is probably going to be a, se a second layer because it is still a bit of uh, opaque so not transparent enough so i'm going to use the same piece of tape just the other side there you go over here and i'm again gently removing a layer see there it goes Try to remove it, not like, just, you know, gently, because we do not want the top layer to rip. So I'm gently removing it. Now you can see, almost see through it, see? So yeah, I am confident this only had the three layers, so not the four layers, so don't think so. I think the napkins would be very, very expensive then. Now... <clears throat> What you can do is take your um, water brush. I'm going to do that with this piece. I'm not going to use my water brush on this because I love everything in the background. So I'm going to take this piece off and the next piece. And I think I'm going to use my water brush on this one to just um, sort of draw around the rose. You can also use your scissors. Now guys, if you're going to use your scissors, do not wait until you have just one layer left. Just use it on the two, three, four, whatever kind of layers there are, just when it is intact. Now for my water brush, again, I am not um, very confident <laughs> with my water brush, but I'm gonna try guys, I'm gonna try. I would prefer to have cut it, but you know, just for sort of, is water coming out? Hello. Yes, water is coming out. Oops, a lot of water is coming out. That's why I don't like it. You just sort of draw around the edge, not very close to the sort of, let's call it illustration or the design that you want on there. It's sort of fussy cutting, but then with water. Sounds stupid, right? Yeah. Well, it does work. It does work. Okay, so now there's water all around. And then you sort of gently try to peel off, sort of, the pieces that you don't want. But most of the times, I just rip my design so I'm, I'm keeping my fingers on the design <laughs> just to be sure it will not rip i probably use too much water oh she's all quiet now i know i'm concentrating
why do you do this well if you want to see more of the background surface that you're gonna put it on this is a nice way to go and it is of course this background is blue and this background is white or more see-through um so yeah if you want all the blue on there just have all the blue on there if you just want a little bit of blue you can do a little bit of blue like so oh it does look nice though doesn't it yeah yes <clears throat> so guys what i'm gonna do i am going to um cut all the pieces out or rip all the pieces out <laughs> i'll be right back here they are i used my water brush and i used just my scissors on these i just used my scissors see they have a much sort of straighter smoother edge and these are sort of more tatty um the difference between the two is these will sort of organically blend blend into the background i guess and on these ones you may see some more harsher lines i don't really know if i prefer one or the other but you know i did a couple of techniques on them this i also did with the water brush and i just wanted to have this whole panel here because you know pretty pretty i'm gonna start with this one because of pretty pretty <laughs> gonna start with this i want to put this on a background and the background i want to use is music paper i really enjoy music paper for um decoupaging because i love the sort of music notes in the background let's just be honest i love that and i think it also goes really really well uh with this image so i want to sort of decoupage this on here yes and afterwards i'm gonna do some more decorating Okay, be sure you have one layer. If you don't have one layer and you decoupage on it, yes, you can just peel off the top layer. Happened to me. It really did. So be sure of that. Now, you can get your glue stick and just put glue on here and then um, gently start gluing it on. Uh, your PVA glue mixed with water, your Mod Podge. I'm going to use this. After, I'm gonna, uh, after I've glued this on, I'm also going to sort of seal it with this. I guess. Oh, yes. <laughs> also guessing today, Margaret. I know, right? Yeah. So I am not going to be putting glue on this. Don't put glue on your napkin. Just in case you never uh, did this before. Just put glue on the surface on the background. I should have put something else underneath. Yes, I'm going to do that later. I'm just going to put glue all over where I think the image will be. I don't care if I go a little bit outside of the image. Just put a lot of glue on there. Not a lot, a lot. Yeah, because it will take forever to dry. For drying, I will use my... my um, Heat gun. I keep saying glue gun. You cannot dry with a glue gun. Okay, I'm gently pushing it on here from the middle towards the edges. So there won't be any wrinkles. Gently, guys, because this breaks very, very easily. This is my method. I just put, um, put it on in the center and then sort of smush it out <laughs> towards the edges. See, if you accidentally rip it, don't worry. <clears throat> Just sort of try to put it back. There's going to be glue on top of it and then it will hold again. Now what you can do, you can let this dry. You could, I'm not gonna. It is already sort of dry. I didn't put a lot of glue on. But you could let it dry. I am just going to put glue on top of it straight away. This will, however, curl your paper. That's why I'm going to put this um, top layer on another piece of back. I think cardstock or something like this. Okay, there we go. Gently, gently, guys. Don't go rubbing because you will rub the napkin off again. And we do not want it. No. Gently, gently. You're just sort of stroking it. There we go. 
I really like this glue for this project. Yes, it is the exact uh, consistency that I like to work with. It is not too thick and not too thin, it's not too watery. Sticks really well. Doesn't have a smell. Well, not a bad smell. I just don't like the smell of Mod Podge. Did we cover everything? Be sure to cover everything, as especially uh, the edges. Otherwise, it will curl up again. I'm just moving it about, seeing it. Yeah, I think I have everything now. Now, you need to let it dry, guys. <clears throat> Put it in a sort of a safe spot, let it dry until it's completely dry. Uh, I am, however, going to use my heat gun later on. Before I do that, I'm just going to let it air dry and do another one. <clears throat> what else do we have that is very interesting? I have some sort of Chinese paper, I think. This Chinese paper It's very old, very fragile. I'm going to do uh, like a sort of flory bit on here. Ooh, that looks nice, right? It does. It does. <clears throat> While this is dry, the other one is drying, I'm going to do this one. There you go. This is all very thin paper. So it really needs another sort of backing on it. There we go. Well, that worked really, really well. Putting another layer on top of it. Also, with the second layer, see the difference in color. See that? Uh, I don't know if this will disappear once the glue is dry, but I like it. Hopefully it stays this color. Oh, I really love it. Do the rest of the page as well, huh? Just, you know, cover it all. Yeah. I really enjoy it. You want to do another one? Let's do another one. <clears throat> what I have is this index card with a sort of purpley border. I was thinking maybe we could sort of zhuzh it up with this big flower. And then sort of stamp it, yes. <clears throat> what you cannot do, well, I cannot do this, is do some background stamping with Distress Oxide. You can do it with uh, ink, um, because that is waterproof. My Distress Oxide will bleed once I put the glue on it. So I think I'm going to do the background sort of stamping afterwards. Doesn't make sense at all, love. I know, I know. That's okay. Oh, my mat is all dirty now. That uh, I have wipes somewhere. This is mixed media, right? Yeah, let's call this mixed media. Because every time my mat and my fingers and I get all dirty, that's mixed media. <laughs> well, it is to me. For those of you who don't know, I just don't enjoy mixed media. I am rubbish at it. I do want to start doing it because um, I've seen people make such lovely, lovely things. Um, but I don't have the equipment. I don't have a jelly plate. I don't even know what jelly plate is exactly. And I did invest in distress crayons. Do not know how to use them. <laughs> I will. I will though. Yeah. Oh, this does look lovely, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, I like it. I like it. Why don't you do this more often? It's not that you don't have uh, enough napkins. I have enough, enough napkins. Let me tell you, especially when you buy a whole pack of 20 of them. Cover off and put glue everywhere. Oh, I love this. Yes, it is cute. Shall we just do these three? Yes. So I'm going to let them dry. Drying will make them curl like this. 
they will warp and curl up and such but that's okay uh, because i'm gonna put them underneath books when they're dry i'm gonna put some packing on it what have you i'm gonna let them dry i'll be right back here they are they are dry well almost completely dry they're a little bit sort of tacky but that's okay um what I did, guys, I already backed this one on a piece of uh, scrapbook paper just to see how that would look. And I'm really happy with it. I will, however, let it dry again underneath a big pile of books to have it flatten out a little bit more. I inked all around the paper and then all around the scrapbook paper. I'm going to decorate it just for a little bit, but not a lot. This already had has a backing, of course. It's a very sturdy sort of index card. Um... Again, I will flatten this out underneath a pile of books. And then this we're going to put um, cardstock behind. Yeah. For this one, I've chosen this green um, cardstock that has sort of a linen look on here. I just want to leave a nice border um, on all four edges. I am going to ink. However, I want to use another tool on this one that I recently uh, bought. I ordered it. I had to wait for it a little while just to check if I enjoy it. I am happy with it and I'm not happy with it. Let me show you. It is the We Are Memory Keepers uh, Corner Chomper. It does the trick. Yeah, it, it needed some figuring out. You need to open it up. Yes. And then we have on this side the large angle and the small angle. For me, this is like the tiniest angle and this is a small angle. I prefer to have bigger angles. That's the only thing I don't enjoy. Now let's use the large angle on this one. You just put your piece of paper in. And then you chomp it and you have like an angle on here. Which works because this is going to be the exact angle. And that's why we have this tool. Yeah, just to make angles on all four sides of two sides or whatever how many sides you want it to be the exact same and that does well if you do it correctly that does work however if this is the biggest angle yeah i want it to be a lot bigger but in that case i just need to uh, use my scissors and do the flip over trick i guess I mean, do you want me to show you the smallest angle shall we use it on um do i have a piece of paper left of course you do. I have this piece. Yes. This is the small angle. Just to show you. Teeny tiny angle. However, this will work on our uh, label making sessions. Yes. So I will definitely use it for that. Do I recommend this um, device? No. I'm, I must be honest. Uh, I'm happy I have it. I'm really happy I tried it out. I will use it for my labels. However, uh, no. No, it's too expensive for what it can do. So, yeah. So, there. If you already have all sorts of supplies and you're interested in it, it does work. So, But if you're just starting out, no. Scissors, is, scissors will do. So, I'm going to ink all around this. Because I use the glue on it, it does take the ink a little bit differently than normal paper would. Well, than non-glued sealed paper would, I guess. I'm thinking if you would rub your fingers over it, it will come off. Well, that's sort of how it feels to me. Yeah, do you want to put angles on here as well? I think so. I think so. Let's just, you know, you have the device. Use it. Use it. I'm just giving my honest opinion, guys. I am not um, going to tell you. No, it works great. You should buy one. No, if it is not like satisfactory, then it isn't. There will be a couple of other things that I invested in that I'm like, well, you know, it does work or even it doesn't. But I will have a favorite craft supplies um, video for that. Because in that video, I will also tell you my not so favorite craft supplies. I think I want something darker for the edge of the green one. 
and there are a couple of them in there. See, the ground espresso shows up really, really well on this green. I am, however, going to put a topper on this. So it will be sort of a tag. I just want to put a topper on it. So, yeah. I could use the glue again. I am just going to use my glue stick. Right. Oh, I'm using glue stick for this and not art glitter glue because I want to sort of move it so all four sides are equal to one another. And the angles are the same. That's why I have this tool. Yep. Perfect. Now, backing backing already had the backing let's do some decorating because of the sort of white color in the background it does look completely off compared to the other ones you can keep it as is because it is pretty but i just want to sort of more have it match so i'm trying this trying it uh distress oxide tea dye over the whole piece it is been sealed but i don't know how this will hold the ink so i'm just gonna you know sort of make small circles with my ink i just feel like the ink can come off at any moment now it could be just me i could be sort of paranoid but it does look great though it does look What will happen, because I inked all over it now, I do enjoy, I enjoy the color. Yeah, it does rub off. It does rub. Maybe you need to let it dry a little bit more. I think so. But you know, for now it'll do. You do really see the brush strokes now. I don't know if you can, if you can see, tell. Um, yeah, I, I did know that already. You need to be very careful using this with your brush strokes. But I don't really mind. Don't really mind. But now I like it a lot better. Yes. I'm just going to put uh, a label on it. I uh, picked out some labels. Already did. Because I uh, just, you know, thought. Let's pick some stuff out. These are all from uh, Michelle at the Junk Journal Studio. It's an Etsy shop with beautiful digitals. I will link her shop below. Have Go have a look. She has all sorts. And um, I love it. I believe she still has a sale on until January 1st. I believe so. Don't know for sure. But, you know, even if she doesn't have a sale on, she's very affordable. I'm just going to put this on. I know it's a different color, but I just I just like it. I just like it. I'm not going to do a lot to it. Am I? I think I want to do some stamping. Um, I have a sort of scripty, texty thing. This is from AliExpress, guys. And don't ask me where to get it. Well, AliExpress, I don't do links on AliExpress because most of it I bought like four years ago or what have you. I'm going to use a darker one, which means ground espresso. I'm just going to do this. Oh, yes. Oh, I love it so much more already. Yes, look at that. Completely transformed it. Love it. I'm going to do something else there. I also had some. Like a postal stamp mark thingy. Do you want to do that? Yes. Yes. What a difference that made. Don't you think? Oh, let's see. What's the upside? In this? Uh, yeah. There's, there's an, an up and a down on this one. Almost looks like a postcard now. Love it. Does it need this then? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Are we going to ink it? Yes. 
also gonna ink it just lightly so have it stand out a little bit more oh look at that love it i didn't expect it to, to look this good <laughs> but it's cool also gonna um, sort of ink around the whole thing it does take a little bit to dry because of the glue on the, the sort of layer of this underneath Yep, mm, I'm gonna use this one, the darker one. Now the back of this is still white, but that's okay. Great, right? Oh, love it! I thought this was going to be my least favorite. I think it's going to be my favorite. <laughs> Let's just let it dry for for a couple of minutes. And let's turn to the other one, this one. On this one, I also want to do some <laughs> background stamping. Uh, however, because there's already text on it, I'm not gonna add more text. So I'm gonna do, you know, my dots, my dots. If you want the dots, buy the real ones. They are on um, Tiny Toadstool's Tim Holtz set. Uh, this came from uh, an AliExpress one that is not available anymore. I'm just gonna put some dots here oh that didn't really work I smudged it I think it's the um, sort of um, glue underneath that makes this sort of happen yeah so yeah stamping on this not my favorite just add this yeah also guys I already noticed on the other one that is drying somewhere. That glue stick does not want to glue on this. So I'm using art. Straight away. There you go. Because art will hold on anything. See? Letting it dry again. I'm going to put a beautiful topper on this one, I guess. Then we have the green one. Um, I still want to do some stamping. I'm sorry, I just want to do some stamping. I know it doesn't really work. This is sort of a label frame kind of stamp. And I want this to go just sort of off the page over here. It doesn't really show up. No, I do not enjoy um, stamping on here. However, probably stays on or some permanent ink will do the trick. This doesn't. Really doesn't. Hopefully it will stay. Uh, it does need it. I'm sorry, it needs a little bit more. It needs some more. Careful of. Yeah, some on the road as well. And I'm just going to put this here, over here. And then I'm going to let it dry. Probably doing something wrong. Of course I am. I just need to, you know, take lessons from Mr. Holtz. If he does an, uh, an, another sort of mixed media sort of craft with me, I need to pay attention. Great. So we're going to let them all dry. Well, especially the ink. Um, and then I also wanted to add these glittery bits, right? Where do I have them? Well, I have them somewhere on my desk. Like the sort of crystal drop thing. Oh, these. Yes, these. I think it would look lovely. Some on the, on the roses. Oh yeah, I think I like it. I think I can manage to do this while the ink is drying, hopefully. Hopefully, love, it will sort of work out. I'm just gonna try it. I am going to use art for this, of course. Uh, and a fantastic device called My Finger. <laughs> I know you have a tool for this that picks this up and such. I don't have such a tool. 
also i am a little bit hesitant to invest in more tools um that i think are these really necessary <laughs> can you just use scissors or glue or you know i'm just gonna put them here and there and only on the rows i guess i want to put a little bit more emphasis on the rows also has these small ones i'm sorry for my dirty inky fingers I do have tweezers for this. I do. I'm not really good at the tweezers thing as well. There we go. We want it here? Well, apparently we want it here. Is it cute? Needs one more. One more of the smaller ones, I guess. No, no, the medium ones. There are four sizes in here, I guess. Uh, so I'm, I'm doing a lot of guessing today. I'm sorry, guys. There you go. Stay on there. It is cute. Yeah, we're gonna do that on here as well. Let's. Couple of on the rows, not a lot. I'm just gonna do three, I guess. Are you guessing again? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I feel like a broken record. afraid to open my mouth again because probably gonna say I guess there you go just three of them really lovely and we're gonna do it on the where is it the other one that was drying that I put somewhere very safe in a very safe place that I cannot reach anymore oh here it's here just gonna have a look no 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 i don't think so it doesn't really work with these colors so no more decorating on this one this one's done 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 toppers i'm only going to have toppers on these sort of um uh, portrait ones not the landscape so this is going to be a journal card see it still smudges yes uh i don't know if this will ever dry Hopefully it does. Hopefully it does. I think it will, but it will take a lot of time because you can journal on the back. So I'm going to have this over here somewhere safe. And then on these ones, I want to um, just, you know, punch a hole very carefully, not smudging any more ink. I'm just eyeballing it. And I have these beautiful um, hole reinforcers. And these came from Elizabeth Craft Designs. She has, I believe, three packs of them, different ones. I did take a look at the last one, pack three, I guess. Uh, stop guessing, love. Um, I didn't enjoy it. It was way too plannery for me. It had some cutesy stuff, like bears and um, more for card makers, I guess. Stop saying I guess. I'm so sorry. Oh, ignore me. Ignore me, please. Yeah, so I didn't invest in the, um, in the last one. Oh, yeah, that is on top. It's going to go on top of the label. Will that look nice or ridiculous? Oh, actually, I don't mind it. Oh, it actually looks nice. Okie dokie. So I'm letting this dry. Used art glitter for this for two reasons. One, it, it glues on a smaller surface. And um, the other reason is it really doesn't hold any other glue than, I guess, uh, art glitter glue. Okay, now I want to use my sorry silk. I was thinking to put red on here and green on there, but it's too Christmassy for me. I'm so done with Christmas. <laughs> so I'm thinking... 
this sort of peachy color here and do you want to do the bright blue on here i'm just i'm just gonna i'm just gonna i'm gonna scrunch it a little bit more a little bit more there's a way to do this and i've been uh, asked to do a video on it but it will be very difficult because i cannot do it on this table i need to do it in the bathroom so i need like a cameraman for that and i've asked and tim is not up for it so um i will explain one day try to explain maybe take some pictures i don't really know if i can do it but it is easy but it's a lot of work there you go i'm just gonna put a bow on here just a lovely bow i don't like this bit no are you gonna make a um, snippy thingy here I am. Oh yeah, like so. Cut it straight first and then do a snippy thingy. Yeah. Oh, it's cute. It is. It's so cute. I like it. I like it. Let's do blue on here. I have two some kinds of blue. No, I'm going to go with a brighter blue like this. Really nice one. So when I'm go I'm, when I'm go thrifting, I I'm always on the lookout for um, lining fabric. You just need a smaller piece. There we go. Yep gonna snip it at an angle yeah great they're so cute guess what changed my mind i am going to have a bow on here i just want a bow on there yeah it, i'm not gonna really make it in too tight because i want to have it in the corner i tried my heat gun to dry it i did some blotting to dry it i wished to dry it uh it's not really working yet it, it will because some spots are dry so i'm making uh just another sort of hole in here and there you go with yet another of these beautiful hole reinforcers Very careful because this is ink, Luffy. This is inked and it will smudge. And I do not want it to smudge. And you need to be quick because this is art. Yeah. Is it on straight now? Well, that's straight enough for me. Now I need to let it dry before I touch it again. And I think I want to use pink. Of course I want to use pink because of, you know, of, because of that. Careful, careful, careful. It'll be fine. Right. And then the bow part. It's a bit too tall. Careful, love. Okay, well, we're going to have a big bow on here. Yep. I think it's too big. Do you think it's too big? Of course it's too big. It's way too big, love. It's way too big. Okay, done. then we have to snip it. We have to snip it a lot. Too bad. But I have more of these soy silk, so it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I think we need to check the end result. Here they are. This is the end result. I love them. Yes, I need to make a note about this um, multimedia mat. Yes, if you 
do the ceiling on top of it. It really doesn't want to accept anything on it. Not glue, uh, not ink. Maybe it will accept like archival or stays on or any kind of permanent ink. I haven't tried it on here. I will try it in future. And for glue, it only accepts this one. Yeah, so still love it, still love it. Let's look at the end result. Love them. Yeah, look at the glittery. I do love these glitter things. Yeah, it's like raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Did you see Sound of Music this Christmas? It's like a sort of a tradition in, well, in my household. It is. It's a wonderful movie. If you haven't seen it, what? It's the only thing I can say. What? You need to see it. Love it. Yeah. With a big bow on here. Very big sort of tax journal cards. But that's okay. And then this is still my favorite. Even though it's smudged a little bit. It's okay. It's really, really nice. Perfect. Guys, that's it for today. Uh, I have no clue how long this video is. <laughs> I was going to make a short one. Hopefully it's a little bit shorter than the normal one. Um, I'll be back again tomorrow with another video i'm going to do another crafty video tomorrow and then this friday i will have my favorite craft supplies meaning i will talk about the craft tools i use it's going to be mainly sort of glue scissors you know what have you uh i'm probably not not going to touch on on papers maybe a paper pack or so or on stickers or what have you uh just mainly tools now i will speak only from my experience so i'm gonna tell i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you in advance this is the best glue ever but maybe you're like i don't even like this glue market how can it be the best glue ever so i'm gonna uh, speak about my experiences it's not gonna really gonna be a top five or anything i'm gonna have a top 10 probably also i'm going to i'm going to talk about the things that didn't work out for me and I'm going to talk about some alternatives that you can buy for certain items. Yeah, so I think it's going to be an interesting one. So I hope you will join me Friday. And of course, tomorrow, I have no clue what I'm going to do tomorrow. We'll see. Guys, that's it for now. I hope to see you then. Bye.